That is a station. But not just any station, it is St. James Station on the Tynan Weir Metro. I finally made it! So of course that means today is finally the day we are going to visit the Tynan Weir Metro. Let's go! Look at this here. Black and white walls to commemorate the uh, Newcastle United Football Club. That's cool. So there's a train to Whitley Bay in uh, two minutes, so we'll get that and go wherever we fancy, really. <laughs> I'll, I'll decide on the journey. All right, here we are on the train. Now, I think to decide, we'll just do the good old Google Assistant, shall we? Pick a number between one and ten. Five. Let's go five. Five stops has brought me to Walker Gate. So, as per usual, you know the drill. Let's look around this station. <laughs> yeah, this place definitely gives me a place you wouldn't want to walk around at night kind of vibes. I don't know if it's just me. Well, I mean, this road's got the uh, metro line next to it, but this area overall feels like, you know, a bit of a nothing area, so uh, yeah, let's go back. However, this time, the next place is somewhere that we're not going to choose by Google. It's a place I would actually like to go and show you. I unfortunately just missed the previous train, so I've got to wait 19 minutes now. Fun. I suppose while I wait, I may as well tell you what ticket I'm using. So today I'm using an Adults All Zones uh, ticket, which costs me £5.70. So for the whole metro, that's pretty good. So here we are at either Tynemouth or Tynemouth, depends who you ask, but I've come here on a weekend so the whole market's on. It's so good. So there you go, the uh, Tynemouth Station weekend market. It's absolutely beautiful. So let's go into Tynemouth now and have a little look around. Look at this, fancy castle and the coast, it's beautiful. Since I'm here, I've never been to the beach in a video before, so let's change that today. <laughs> now this is the life. Just a shame I've come here in early March, so it's still absolutely freezing here. <laughs> but hey, still, it's pretty nice. Anyway, let's go back to the station, and I guess we'll continue around the sort of Whitley Bay loop. Um, unfortunately, Whitley Bay Station itself is closed as of when I'm filming this, so I can't go there, which is a shame. But we'll keep going around the loop, and we will decide on a station. And we're back. So time for the next train. Yeah. 
So I've now come to Northumberland Park for no reason other than random selection. Uh, so, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go out the station and look at Northumberland Park. Look at that view. Hell of a station. Now this is nice. This is more like it. Yeah, this is good. Hang on a minute, a station road that doesn't lead to a station. Peculiar. My best guess is that because the Tidal Metro is built on disused British rail alignments, is that there would have been a station here at some point, which has now been replaced by Northumberland Park down there. Just a theory. Oh my god. Path. Let's go. <laughs> Oh geez, there's a uh, burned bike. That's interesting, you don't see that every day. This is quite a pretty view. I like this, that's my uh, weekly dose of paths and fields done. <laughs> right, anyway, now we've done that, we'll go back to the station and go to our next place. All right, we are back. So I think now I'm gonna go to, let's do some of the underground stations, cause you know me, I love I love an underground station, so I think we'll go to those next. Let's do it. Market. This is probably the station I was most looking forward to going to, and by sheer luck, it's exit only right now as the time of me coming here because the escalators are broken. So there is no one here. It's kind of eerie. <laughs> also, why is platform two like twice as long as platform one? It's kind of strange. Let me know in the comments if you've got an answer. Anyway, so I needed to come to one of these stations anyway because I need to change to the green line to go to the stations I want to go to next. Head. The architecture about these stations is very, very 80s, I can tell. Oh look, the lift here. New train. Nice. So, where to next? I think, well I mean we're on the green, well, I mean we can get the green line now. We've been doing the yellow line for this entire video, so. I think we'll carry on along the green line and go to wherever. That's a South Shields train. We don't want that, we want South Hilton. So I think now on the uh, green line, we'll get a green line train to South Hilton. And I think we'll go, let's go to Sunderland. I think Sunderland would be a nice place to uh, end the trip. So yeah, we'll get a train to Sunderland. So, Sunderland Station, and we have now officially visited the Tyne Weir Metro. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and this was a lot of fun to make. I love the Tyne Weir Metro, it's really fun. <laughs> I love visiting new metro systems. Anyway, so, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. 
And of course, a massive shout out goes out to all of my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now, and of course, in particular, my first class patron, Joe on the Trains, and my standard premium patrons, Charles, Daniel Geographic, David Bainbridge, Dylan Davies, Emily, Jacob House, Hugh Hillier, Manic, Reese Harrison, Rob Rudwick Carter, and Stuart S.